Hello, everyone. Good morning. Happy hump day. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hello, teacher. Good morning. Hi. Hope you guys are doing well this morning. The um, I'm going to try to record within Microsoft Teams, as you can see. So had some it's weird. This week's been just kind of strange with all the technology problems, but we'll we'll try to get through it. Still try to get a recording from today's class. Today I'd, li I'd like to do something a little bit different. I want to uh, schedule a task for today and I want to do something similar tomorrow. Today what I'd like to do is combine both an individual activity with a group activity or I should say a team activity and then end in a whole group activity. So individual activity first, then a team activity, and then a whole group activity all in one day, all today during today's class. So I want to talk briefly about the uh, what we're going to do today, give you some general instructions. I want to start by showing the uh, the notion page. All of you should have access to this page where all of the instructions and information that you'll need to complete today's task can be found. I shared this link in Microsoft Teams, so if you haven't already, I would go ahead and open it up on your computer. If you're looking at my screen, however, we'll talk about each of these sections. So I would begin by watching the video if you haven't done so already. I talk more specifically about the instructions for today's activity, but it's going to involve accessing these two links that appear in the first being a YouTube video called No Such Thing as Bad Publicity, which provides an example of what I would like each one of you to do in Flipgrid. The second is just some general concepts and ideas about advantages having their price. So I want you to take a look at some of the quotes. Today, I want us to try to bring together this idea of no such thing as bad publicity and these concepts related to advantages having their price and maybe sacrifices people actually make in order to earn rewards or have an advantage, right? And I think the main message is not to try to envy someone who has maybe some advantages because maybe the sacrifices that they went through in order to achieve those advantages. So take a look at those two, these two links here. The first activity is, is for us to create a video. And I want to give us until about 8.15 to do that. The video should last no more than one minute. You want you need to try to speak for one minute, right? But no more than one minute um, and upload your Flipgrid here. All right. And I've included the key or the code in Microsoft Teams if you need it, if you need the uh, code to get into the Flipgrid uh, space. Then the second part of the activity is a team activity. So we're going to designate from 815 to 855 more or less to work in our teams. This is going to be the same teams that you've been working in since last week with your e-portfolios. OK, so we have 10 teams, so continue working with your same teammates. And here is uh, a chance for you guys to work together in your teams to share what you talked about in your Flipgrid video and consolidate or bring together your ideas as a team. And I would like for you to share a document in a week 16 folder where you contribute and put your ideas together in some coherent or organized way based on your discussions. So you're going to be discussing and you're going to be looking at a video or a, looking at your Word document together and adding information and organizing it. Make sure that you set up a, a team chair or a team leader. So someone who's going to be responsible for 
um, making sure that everybody is contributing, everybody has a voice and some ideas that no one person is dominating the conversation, that everyone is participating. So you need to elect a chairperson, a team chair or a leader who's going to be responsible for making that happen. When you finish around 8.55 or so, we'll, we'll come back to our class and we'll have a group discussion where each team will have five minutes to share their conclusions, share what they discussed and concluded in their discussions. And the hope is that we generate a discussion with the whole group so we can engage and ask questions and discuss as a whole group the conclusions from each team. All right, so again, today, today's activity is divided into three parts, individual activity, a team activity, and a whole group. And I, I would like for us to try to respect as best as possible these times as I've listed here in Notion. So I want us to go ahead and jump right into it. Continue um, outside of class working in your e-portfolios, making sure that you're contacting me when you want me to look at your uh, e-portfolio. All right, but we'll we'll do that outside of class today. I'd like for us to focus on on this activity. All right, I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic, guys. If you guys have questions, of course, jump in, unmute your microphone, or send me a, a message in chat. If you want me to come into your group, if you have a group question or you want me to address your your team, uh, let me know. Just uh, let me know which group you're in or which team, and uh, I'll do that as well. All right, so. Again, 8 o'clock to 8.15, more or less, to upload the video. Then team activity from 8.15 to 8.55. Let's come back to our whole group, to this class, around 8.55 to begin listening to each team's conclusions. All right, I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic, guys. Again, jump in if you have any questions about uh, what we're doing today uh, in class. Teacher. Yes. Uh where is the link of the Notion page? All right, I'll 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 share it um, here as well. I shared it in Microsoft Teams, but I'll share it here in the chat so that you can Thank you. <laughs> access it. You're welcome. Let me uh, open this up here. Um, maybe. Let's try this again. Uh, let's see, copy link. Okay, I just po uh, posted it in the chat. So that should take you directly to this page that uh, that I'm sharing with you right now. And yeah, so I'll go ahead and mute my mic, guys. I want you to try to get into uh, the activity and to go ahead and upload your Flipgrid. Again, no longer than one minute for uh, the video, very brief. All right, guys, we'll come back at about 8.55. Okay, teacher. All righty, it is 8.55. Just realized since I put 9.55, so I guess if no one comes back, then that's my own fault. I put 9.55, but you, you guys know what I mean, 8.55. Um, all right, we're going to start here in just a few minutes. What I'd like to do is... Listen now from each of the teams. We have 10 teams. I'd like to give each team about five minutes to present your conclusions, present your ideas. So I would like for you to designate a spokesperson. All right, a spokesperson is going to be the person who is going to begin presenting the results. This doesn't mean that the spokesperson is the only one to speak, however. So all team members are encouraged uh, to speak, but I think it's a good idea to have someone kind of begin the conclusions. And if that person is comfortable presenting all of the conclusions, that's fine. It's really up to the team how you want to uh, discuss it. But I would also like to encourage group conversations. So anything that the teams are sharing, uh, if time permits, I would like for everyone to to engage right to 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 offer an opinion to offer any type of feedback uh, as we're listening to each of the teams 
All right, so we haven't done this before. Let's see how it goes. Um, but I hope you've had a chance to talk with your team about some of the ideas you shared in your Flipgrid video. If you didn't get a chance to upload your Flipgrid video, that's fine. Try to upload it later. Uh, the idea was to try to create a video first individually so that you're thinking individually aspects about uh, today's topic and then share your ideas with your teammates. So I think we'll start with team one. We'll just go down the line. Again, we have we have t 10 teams. We'll go, we'll start with team one, then continue with team two and so on. I would ask just to make this a little bit more dynamic, if you could please activate your videos when you're speaking. So if you um, your team is speaking, go ahead and activate your mics. Even maybe if you're not uh, speaking, just adds a little bit more of a, a dynamic to what we're listening to and feel free to use the notes that you created as a team in your word document uh, to present your your ideas and your, your conclusions today's topic is there's no such thing as bad publicity this idea that maybe a bad experience in the short term could end up being positive or maybe it turns into some advantageous possibilities, something that actually is a good thing overall, right? So uh, think about either a celebrity or maybe someone in your life, someone that you know, maybe that has gone through that, that the publicity that looked like it was a bad thing in the short term actually ended up being a good thing. It's looking at it from two perspectives, looking at the same event, same situation, and looking at it both negatively and positively. Alrighty, so team one, and I don't have the, the, the uh, team members here in front of me, so I'm just gonna call you out by team number. So we'll start with team one. If you'd like to activate your videos, your video camera and uh, Whoever is designated as the team spokesperson, feel free to jump right in and um, begin with your conclusions. So team one, go right ahead. Who's in team one? Teacher, I think that nobody has the chance to get, like, to talk with their teammates. I know. Um, yes, teacher. No. I am, well, I am the team one with Vanessa, Vanessa and Liz, but I didn't have time for uh, eating to. <laughs> what okay. happens is they had, right. they understood the activity. Sorry. Okay. Okay. All right, uh, how about team two? The so team two, did you guys have a chance to meet? Team two? Anyone in from team two? I know this was kind of the first time we've tried to uh, do this, and it looks like I'm looking at my phone here. It looks like team three and team four are still in their meetings. So no one from team two had a chance to meet. Um, I think so. Teacher. You think? OK, so team two, would you like to share some of your conclusions, some of the things that you discussed with your teammates? Or, or you didn't. I, mean, I don't know if I understood you correctly. Were you able to speak with your teammates?
if uh, go on, let me go back to team one. So team one, I guess, and team two. I'm not sure if I if I un understood uh, Maria Jose, but if team one and team two were not able to meet, go ahead and go back into your groups and discuss with your teammates uh, your your ideas around <clears throat> around the idea of publicity or bad publicity. Okay. Oh, teacher, I'm sorry. I say that I, I did the meeting with my, with my teammate, but I'm in the team in seven. Uh, okay. So you were able to, Jose, you were cutting out a little bit. Did you say that you, you did speak with your teammates? No, teacher, I didn't. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So I guess it looks like we... You guys didn't have much of a chance to talk with your teammates, so uh, I guess we'll continue the class with you guys working with your your teammates. Um, at nine forty, let's come back to class uh, because I've got some uh, some information I want to share with everyone about tomorrow's class. Tomorrow's class is going to be kind of a special class, and I want to talk about that at nine forty. So. Let's go ahead and continue. Uh, let's go ahead and continue with this activity, and we'll just use the rest of today to work with your teammates to share your ideas, coming up with a Word document, and making sure when you guys look at the Notion page, because I, I don't think I mentioned this before, if you open up today's activity in Notion, this is the page I shared with everyone, Notice that these are toggle switches. So if you click on these down arrows, it gives you more information about each of these sections. Okay, so you might want to refer to that in terms of like what we're doing if you need further explanation about what we're doing today in class. Okay, so I, I just wanted to bring that up. These little toggle switches, you can open and close those to get more information that relates to each of these sections. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, continue the activity, and uh, we'll conclude at 940. I'll give you some closing uh, um, instructions, some information, uh, especially about tomorrow's class. Again, tomorrow is going to be a kind of a special class, and I want to talk about that at 940. All right, so let's go ahead and continue with the activity, guys. Go ahead and be, uh, continue working with your teammates, sharing your ideas about no publicity, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Okay, that's the topic. All righty? Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes. All right, everyone, it is 940. We'll go ahead and close the class. I'd like to explain a little bit about what we did today and also what we're going to do tomorrow. We have a, a special guest who will be observing our class tomorrow. And if you know anything about me, I always like to have opportunities to basically share my teaching practice, share what my students are doing. So I'm really excited and looking forward to having this opportunity to share our classroom experience uh, with someone outside of our class. So what I'd like to do is explain a little bit about what we did today and what I would like to do tomorrow. Um, I know that what we did today was new in terms of trying to do an individual task and then a team task and then a whole group task. But I would like to try to do something similar tomorrow with a slight modification. I'd like to try something different so that if we need more time, we can build it into the task. We can we can do that. So I'm going to share my screen and share with you what we're going to do tomorrow. And tomorrow's task is going to be very similar to today's task, with the exception of the topic itself. So let me let me show you what I mean. So. So here, if you guys are following in Notion, Okay, this is our calendar, and uh, today's the ninth. This is the activity that we did today. 
All right, and as you know, we tried to do an individual task, team task, and a whole group. Well, we didn't get to the whole group. That's okay. Uh, we just did the team activity and the individual activity. Tomorrow, I'd like to do a similar task on a topic of taking care of the environment. This task tomorrow also is divided into an individual task, a team task, and a whole group task. But tomorrow, my goal is, in fact, I think the most important aspect that I want to get to tomorrow is the whole group activity. Now, to do the whole group activity, we need to do the individual activity first, then the team activity. Tomorrow, I want to start at 8 o'clock and use the first, I would say, 55 minutes or so, almost the first hour, to, to either do the individual task or the team task. Now, here's what I'm going to ask or suggest to everyone uh, to do so that we have more time, right? Because maybe we need more time working with our teams to prepare what we want to say. So, what I would suggest is to go ahead and create your individual video. And if you have a chance to do it before class, I would encourage you to do that. I would try to do the short video on this topic of taking care of the environment. I've included instructions here, but it's essentially thinking about what we can do on a daily basis to contribute to help save the environment. What can we do day to day? What suggestions could can you make? And try to think of maybe five ways, five things that you can do to take care of the environment. Maybe these are things that you do actually right now. Maybe the things that you could do, right? But think of five different ways that you could uh, contribute to help take care of the environment. So this would be the Flipgrid video. So try to upload the Flipgrid video, and I'll share the code here in a second uh, so that you can get into this. And if you can do this before class, and then when we start class tomorrow, you can start right away with the team activity. If you don't have a chance to do the, the video, uh, then spend the first few minutes uploading the video to Flipgrid and then try to get to your team as soon as possible so that you have a little bit more time to work with your teammates and thinking about these, these aspects here that I have listed here. This is the same as what we did today. Try to create an online meeting, try to record it, set up a team leader or a team chair to direct the conversations and try to create a shared document so that all team members are contributing to a document. And you can use that shared document as notes, how you want to present your ideas to the whole group, which will start tomorrow at 8.55. All right, so it's very similar, the task, in that it's, there's an individual task, a team task, and a whole group task. But I really want us to get to this part, the whole group. Why? Because our special guest is going to be here at nine o'clock. So I think it would be nice to be able to hear some of your ideas moving from the different teams, generating a discussion, right? And I want this to try to be as engaging for everyone as possible. So people listening can ask questions and make comments in addition to what the team is concluding or that the team is discussing, All right? That's, that's what I would like for, for us to try to get to tomorrow with this whole group activity. So again, I know today was different. It was new and we had maybe less time maybe to create the Flipgrid uh, individual video, but the Flipgrid video is just to give you some individual time with the topic to think about your own personal opinion about it. When you get to the team, then it's a matter of sharing your ideas and discussing as a whole, okay, what, how can we bring together our, our ideas in an organized way? And then the whole group discussion is now your opportunity to present those organized ideas. All right, so does this make sense, guys? Do you guys have uh, questions about kind of what, how these 
individual tasks kind of fit together. Any questions? Uh, I mean, yes, go ahead. So the problem could be like, like uh, the pollution and people who hunt animals and all of that, like those kind of problems. Actually, uh, Ceci, I'm thinking about only sharing your ideas because, yeah, the topic is huge, right? So I'm thinking like, what can you do day to day? Or what do you do? Maybe these are things that you already do, but what suggestions could you make? I would, I would rather you talk more about the solution than the problem. So think about describing and explaining the solution, right? Describe what you could do on a day-to-day -day basis. How could you do it and why? Think of the question words, what, how, and why but about the solution, that is those five key aspects, those key routines, right, that you could do. Right? And there, maybe they're very small things, but these are things that if we all did, if the entire world did these five things, what kind of environment would we have? Would we, you know, what, what, uh, would we have a better environment? So again, try to think about the solutions more than the actual problem. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you. OK, you're welcome. Any other questions, guys? Any questions, my friends? And again, I, I would try just so that you don't have to It'll be one less thing to do if you can try to create the video in Flipgrid before class. OK, I usually don't like to give you things to do outside of class, but I think with this activity, I really want us to get to the whole group discussion. And we'll start with team one, then we'll go with team two. Each team will have five minutes right to to speak um, so that we have enough time to get to all 10 teams. I would really like to hear from all 10 teams, five minutes per team, but to make this as engaging as possible, right? And, and activating your your video and and really like when your when your team is speaking, turn on your video and and have you know a conversation. You can have a spokesperson begin the conversation, but that doesn't mean you only have to have one person. You decide as a team if you want to contribute. You know, if other team members want to contribute or if you just want to have one person contribute, it's up to you. You talk about and decide as a team. Remember these meetings, having them in English is so important. These are informal conversations that you're having, but it's so important that you're encouraging and helping each other speak in English. Right. And I, I hope that if you get anything from this class this semester is the importance of the small things, the small decisions you make, like today, like in this moment, am I going to speak English or Spanish? And making that decision to say, all right, even though I'm going to feel a little bit uncomfortable, I'm going to speak English to my classmate that maybe I'm used to speaking in Spanish, even though I'm going to feel a little bit uncomfortable. I know it's for my own good. It's for my own development. It's, it's going to help me be a better communicator. So take it upon yourself. Even if I'm not there. Your teachers aren't there. Take every opportunity to speak English. <clears throat> and if you do that, this podcast, for example, imagine yourself from four years from now. And let's say that you created a, a weekly podcast for four years. Just imagine that. Just, just kind of pretend. Look at yourself in the future. What kind of speaker do you think you're going to be if you create a podcast, public or private? And I don't, I don't know, even if you never show it to anybody, although I, I wish, I hope you would, but let's say you don't. What kind of speaker do you think you're going to be after four years? You have no idea how further advanced you're going to be than if you never created a podcast you have no idea so 
if you get anything from me or from this class, the best advice I can give you is take it upon yourself and be the brave person and say, you know what? I'm going to feel uncomfortable for a little bit. I'm going to speak. I'm going to speak English. Even though nobody's around, nobody's teachers giving me a hard time. No, speak English, speak English, speak English. Nobody's forcing me to turn in my twist in my arm. I'm doing it because I need, I want to be a better communicator. Even though maybe you feel uncomfortable and this doesn't, it goes against your, your identity. When you guys create and start being, uh, you're, you're increasing your English, you're actually changing your identity. And that's the hardest thing is like saying, okay, I'm so used to speaking Spanish. That's who I, that's how they look at me as. Right. If I start speaking English, they're going to look at me differently. Right. For better or for worse, they may look at me differently and I'm not comfortable with that. So you have to be the brave person to say. I am going to take a chance. I'm going to sound silly. But I'm going to try to communicate in English. So. That's what I want you to be thinking about every moment, not just now. And we're finishing this semester, right? Um, as you go into next semester and later into the BA, that you keep that in mind, right? And I really hope, going back to the podcast, that you guys keep up with the podcast. They're great. I love them. I, I go and listen to them, all kinds of different topics. I mean, if you guys go in and listen to your classmates, and I hope you're doing this, your podcast from your classmates. The amount of different interesting topics that are being shared is incredible, right? Because you guys are talking about things that you want to talk about, that they are of interest to you, regardless of what they are. Maybe they're not, you know, not maybe not everybody's interested in them, but you're interested in it, and that's what matters. Because if you're interested in it, somebody's going to be interested in it. And that's why I'm encouraging everyone to, to consider the public podcast. You don't have to do it, but I can guarantee that if you have a topic that you're interested in and you're sharing your passion about those topics, somebody else is going to be interested in it as well. And they're not going to care about your English. Right now it's like, oh, well, I'm just at a level whatever, and I want to speak, and I'm going to speak to the public. I don't think so. They're going to laugh at me, this and that. It's not like that. It really is not. Don't worry about making mistakes. Worry about the message. It's not about you personally. It's about what you are presenting. It's what you're saying that matters. Nobody's, you know, looking at you, thinking critically about that. No, nobody. And if they are, who cares? Who cares? You're sharing your ideas and you're using an additional language, English, in this case. And that's what it's all about. So really think about the importance of doing these podcasts, thinking about every opportunity you have, whether, fam whether it's with family or friends or whomever, to speak in English. Really, you guys are at a, the perfect place right now to make these decisions. I can't have this conversation with eighth semester. It's not the same. I can have this conversation with you guys in Prope because you're just starting out. And you're going to have so many opportunities to make different uh, decisions about, okay, am I going to do this or that? It's all about yes or no. Your whole life is going to be about making decisions. Yes or no. Am I going to do this? Am I going to do that? And whatever you decide, that's, that's where you're going to be. That's who you're going to be. So. Please, it's, I'm, I know I'm going on a tangent here, but I really feel passionate about this because I want you guys to get the most out of your time in this class, in this experience here in the, in the, in the university, and really get the most out of this, your experience, right? Because, because it's for your own good. It's for, you deserve that. You deserve to get the best out of this situation, right? And that's going to be who you end up being as a professional, right? And uh, the decisions you make now are going to help you in the future. All right, guys. So tomorrow, 
it's going to be our kind of our last activity of this kind. I really want to get to our whole group activity tomorrow. Um, I know we didn't get to it today, and that's fine. But if you need extra time and you just want to feel more relaxed tomorrow in class, go ahead and create the video before class. Right, Just spend a few minutes before, get in maybe a 15 minutes before class and create the video. And then you can have more time with your teammates so that we can prepare for the whole group discussion. All right, we'll stop there, guys. Um, Friday, very quickly, we're going to have our TOEFL review, as I mentioned, and uh, I've already scheduled another TOEFL review on Monday at 8 o'clock. OK, so for sure, I'm going to offer, we'll offer it again, and then we'll see how, you know, if anybody wants uh, another opportunity after that. But for sure, we're going to offer it on Friday at 8. So try to be here on time on Friday and then on Monday as well, a second opportunity for an improved grade. All right, guys, it's 10 o'clock. I know I took you over, um, but I think these topics here that we talked about today are really important. And uh, yeah, we'll stop there for today, guys. I hope you guys have a great Wednesday. And uh, tomorrow we'll see you in class. We'll have a special guest, see how it all goes. Um, but I am looking forward to it. All right, thanks, guys. Have a great day. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. See you, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye